Hello everyone, welcome to Rags. So this is me, Krish. Here uh, in today's session, we're going to talk about a uh, simple thing, uh, which is but very fundamental and important thing uh, in current gaming industry, which is uh, whether to use Un Unity or Unreal. The first one which we're going to talk about is our uh, system requirements. I would say uh, Unity has an upper hand because um, uh, it just requires, uh, you know, like a minimum system is uh, more than enough. Uh, like if in case you're using a 4GB RAM and a 4 core processor or something, uh, that's uh, good enough for you to, uh, you know, start with. If in case you want to uh, work on with Unreal, the problem here is it's a really heavy engine and it requires a lot of, uh, you know, it takes off a lot of energy from your system. The problem here is with um, Unreal is uh, it, it might work when you start with, but in case if you want to get an output from it, it's going to be a really hard time for you guys. Because um, Unity is uh, better in, in terms of optimization and all these stuffs. So it could be anything. It could be your architecture stuff or it could be your gaming or it could be, you know, your short films or anything. Because recently Unity and Unreal are uh, getting into uh, making movies and I mean, like not, not exactly they're into, but people are into making movies and short films and using Unreal and Unity because it's just live rendering. Uh, real-time rendering so you save a lot of uh, time in uh, in terms of rendering so you can just uh, you know uh, use unity and unreal and instead of using these other programs like maya or blender or anything you can just install it in your system in, in terms of unreal um, but uh, i would say if you're uh, creating a bigger uh, set or in case you know if you're making a big short film with like number of characters and um, lots of animation stuff or even in, in case of gaming if it's like a uh, you know uh, a real good game uh, and if in case you want to get the proper output, you you definitely need a better system. Uh, but in case of Unity, um, I would say it's not that important uh, because it works fine even with uh, moderate average systems. Because even when I started with uh, uh, gaming and animation, uh, okay, basically I wasn't animation for a long time, but recently when I started with gaming, I found that I was really into Unreal because of the looks and, you know, uh, the really cool output that you get from you know, Unreal. But the problem was when I started using it, I started using it and then I found out that, okay, this is not going to work for me if in case I'm using this average system. If you have a really good system, then I would suggest, yeah, go ahead with Unreal. But if in case you're uh, looking for, you know, we have a moderate system and you want to explore a lot in gaming, you're a beginner, then I would suggest start with uh, Unity. Coming to the next thing is our, well, we're going to talk about our uh, performance. Because uh, recently, I'll just tell you a real-time scenario. Uh, recently, one of my friends, uh, he, uh, he just asked me, like, uh, okay, whether to go to un Unity or Unreal. And he was really into architecture and all these stuff. And uh, he wanted to do architecture with Unreal. So he said, yeah, I would go with it. But I finally, after a couple of weeks, when he was finally done with this project in Unreal and he wanted to get the output from it, uh, the problem really was he wasn't having really that, you know, a monster system or something. He just had an average system that we usually use for uh, gaming and uh, architecture. So the final problem was when he started, uh, you know, baking the lights and getting the rendering, uh, the final output, uh, he couldn't really get it. And the main problem, another important problem was the file size was too large. Yeah, when it comes to Unity and Unreal, um, Unreal has a really huge, uh, you know, uh, file system. The, the if you, even if you just create a simple basic, uh, you know, project, it goes to like 500 MB, uh, 100, 1 GB, and you know, it just goes in GBs. But in case of Unity, even the project file, everything, it just comes in MBs, like you know, uh, 25 MB, 30 MB. And even like you know, even uh, really good quality games can get you a bit lower file size, and which in turn, you know, obviously, if your file size is lesser, you know, if in case you're installing it in your system or in case you're installing it in your iOS or Android devices or anything, so obviously, you know, if your file size is lesser, it's gonna work fine. But in case of Unreal, it's, that's not the case. But again, I'm not saying like you know, Unreal is uh, not good in performance-wise. Comparatively, Unity is better. Uh, if in case you're looking for, you know, um, a first-person shooter game, if, especially if in case you're looking for uh, creating applications or creating games or, uh, you know, videos for your computers and not for your Android and iOS devices, I would suggest Unreal. But in case if you're looking for Android devices and, you know, mobile applications and all these stuffs, then I would definitely say Unity is better. So uh, that's basically about your uh, performance and coming to your uh, graphics quality in terms of uh, Unity and uh, Unreal. I would say yes, definitely Unreal is like much, much, much better 
uh, in terms of visuals. Uh, the main reason being inbuilt uh, the rendering and the lighting uh, technology that have, they have used in the game engine itself. It uh, gives a really, really amazing out output, which you can't really compare it with uh, Unity 5 uh, with the personal edition. So, but it doesn't mean that you can't get, you know, like uh, amazing visuals with Unity 5. You can definitely get it, but you need to pay for it. Which is, Unity uh, has four different versions, like uh, one free version and three different paid versions. Whereas in Unreal, it's slightly different, where they give everything for free and um, you just need to pay 5% royalty to the company. It's as same as uh, Unity 5 too, like you need to pay 5% for uh, Unity uh, when you're generating some revenue using their project, using their game engine. But uh, the main difference between Unity 5 and Unreal is, Unreal, everything is free, they give your assets for free, they give the en engine and everything for free and they just ask you to pay 5% royalty when you're making some money. But whereas in Unity 5, if in case your uh, annual revenue is less than $100,000, then you can just use your personal edition, which is a free version, but you can't really get the amazing visuals using just the personal edition. So if in case you want to uh, get really amazing outputs, you just need to go for uh, the paid versions of uh, Unity, but there are three different versions available in um, one is like your plus version and the pro version and the enterprise version. So that's really a unique advantage when it comes to Unreal where they give you everything and their lighting is amazing. It has realistic rendering and it has amazing inbuilt lighting setup. And the main uh, reason why it's um, quality, visual quality is really good is because of this material setup, which is node based material setup. So basically, you know, if you're into animation in 3D, you would have already known that how good is node based system is. Whereas in case of Unity, um, you can get almost 90 to 94% or even 99% of the output that you get in Unreal, but you have to pay for it and you have to, you know, uh, use some third party plugins or packages in order to get the same uh, result. So I think that's about your graphics quality. So coming to the next one is our language. So, <laughs> so this is completely about gaming then. So we're not talking about architecture or animation stuff. We're talking about completely about gaming. So when it comes to gaming, um, uh, Unity uses uh, C Sharp and Boost Script and uh, JavaScript. When we're talking about JavaScript, it's not the usual Java that we use. It's actually a JavaScript separately developed by Unity, which, which is also called as Unity Script. So basically it's uh, C Sharp. That's a major thing for our, uh, what do you call, uh, Unity. And in terms of uh, Unreal, it's actually C++. Recently, I've heard from some of the you know uh, resources from YouTube and as well as on Unreal that Unreal is also soon going to accept C Sharp. So if in case you're new to gaming and you're looking for um, which uh, language to start with, I would recommend C Sharp first. But in case you're already a developer and you know something about developing, you know, coding, then I don't see much of a difference because they are, you know, like uh, C++ and C Sharp are very similar. It's just an evolved version of C++ is C Sharp. So, uh, but, but basically if you're a beginner, I would suggest starting with C Sharp. Okay, before uh, getting into any of these gaming stuff, I personally would highly recommend you to learn C Sharp first rather than going directly and learning um, you know, Unity coding using C Sharp. So uh, the reason being, yeah, when I started learning, uh, you know, coding with Unity, I found that really because basically I'm an animator and I'm not really a really big, uh, you know, I was I wasn't a really hardcore programmer, so I wasn't really sure um, if I wanted to learn C Sharp first or directly get into Unity or Unreal or C++. So I started learning C++ and then I started learning C Sharp and then I went into Unity and I didn't understand any of that. And then I started learning Unreal and I didn't understand any of that. Then finally I thought like, okay, so better I would uh, learn what first programming is. So I started learning C++ and C Sharp at the same time. And finally at some point, you know, as I mentioned about the uh, previous reasons, like the uh, graphics quality, performance and system requirements, my ideal choice was, as I was a beginner, my ideal choice was like go to Unity then. So in order to use Unity, I was like, okay, get into C Sharp then. So there is no other go, I have to learn C Sharp. When you're when talking about C Sharp and let's say JavaScript, which is um, you know the other uh, language uh, thing for uh, Unity, and there is another uh, language thing as well, which is your Boost Script for Unity. So I would uh, the reason why I would suggest go with C Sharp is not with uh, JavaScript and Boo is JavaScript is actually not the Java that you're thinking. It's basically JavaScript developed by Unity, which is also called as Unity Script. 
and boo again is used mostly in unity so if in case you're you know putting some effort and investing some time in in order to learn some programming language i would say go with c sharp you know you can um you can use this programming language in any other stuff as well like if in case you're doing an android app development or anything but if you learn if you learn a javascript or boo you're not going to use it anywhere other outside unity so i would suggest um yeah better is to learn with c sharp coming to the unreal thing which is your c++ there is another uh, you know uh, inbuilt uh, language called as blueprint which is provided by um, unreal itself so blueprint is actually not a coding it's not it's not a programming language it's basically a, a node based system if you're a absolute beginner and you don't have any interest in uh, other programming then uh, i would say you can go with blueprint blueprint but um, if you're a beginner and you can invest some time in learning some programming language and definitely you have decided in spite of all the reasons it's a uh, you know you know it requires a best better system requirement you're going for unreal then i would say better learn c++ if so if you can learn uh, programming just go for c++ if you in case you're using unreal because the reason being the the way programming does is i would just wanted to show you a simple example here uh, let's assume i'm i'm just ordering a cup of tea so i would say bring me a cup of tea right i could say this way or i could say it the other way you know it's just a polite way of saying it the thing is you can just understand that this is two different way of saying the same thing so blueprint and c++ are like that but when it comes to gaming and performance relation basically programming ask you to say it simple so c++ is like bring me a cup of tea but blueprint is like could you please bring me a cup of tea so which actually takes a longer time to uh, you know say it similarly so if you are using blueprint uh, the thing is it obviously takes a longer time to process things so which in turn you know eventually your uh, performance is also going to be a bit laggy so i'm not saying it's like a completely um different level it depends on the code where that you're making and depends on the animation that you're making so it, it it depends on you know like what kind of stuff you're using on the game so for animation it would differ or if for a uh, for a simple you know in in game does in game scene it differ in game, for a cut scene it will differ so it depends but i would suggest if you have time just go ahead with your uh, c++ and start learning it but when it comes to um, unity and unreal i would say go with um, c sharp you know because uh, again c sharp is a better language as well it's an advanced version of c++ so it's much better as always so uh, that's basically your language stuff so let's talk about something here called as uh, source materials when we're talking about source materials again unity has an upper hand okay you might wonder right now like what is this guy he just keep saying unity is better unity is better uh, the reason why i'm saying unity is better in few uh, things is because for a beginner I, because i personally have felt um and i've personally have faced the problems while using unity and unreal both and have experienced both on unity and unreal if you are into you know hardcore gaming and you can afford b- better systems and if you are definitely using it for uh, computers i would say go for unreal but if you are you know a indie developer if you are starting to you know your gaming career or something i would say yeah definitely unity is better Unreal uh, has a lot of uh, source materials on them. They have this um, their own marketplace, Unreal Marketplace, uh, when you just launch the game itself, where you can just uh, go ahead and uh, purchase. Either you can purchase the you know assets that you want to have, or the codes or the scripts that you want to have for your games. Um, but come uh, and in case of uh, Unity, they have their own asset store where you can just go ahead and do the same thing. You can either uh, purchase the um, assets or on the scripts or you can just uh, there are free things available too so like uh, there are both two different versions both in unreal and unity but in case of quantity i think uh, unity has a better thing because um the, i think uh, I, i'm not sure if it's statistically if that is correct um i think there are a lot of users for unity than unreal so because of that and also it's better and it's easier to uh, make stuffs in unity uh So uh, I think there is a lot of resources available for uh, Unity than Unreal. So basically if you want to play a simple game like you know a roll ball game which we usually see in Unity t- tutorials and or a simple car race game or a bike race game or anything some racing or arcade games I think uh, you can just make it from the default uh, assets available from the asset store itself. So um, again so Unity has an upper hand in case of um, uh, source materials. 
And coming to the learning materials, I would say that again Unity has an upper hand but there is one recent problem with um, Unity which I have faced my, myself personally. Both this Unity and Unreal, uh, okay compared to uh, the tutorials and the learning material, the documentation stuff that is available for both Unity and Unreal, Unity has a completely, you know, like amazing, a big pool of uh, resources for learning. It could be documentation, either the materials available in the website itself, in the Unity website itself, or the materials available on YouTube. They are really, really amazing. You just give any topic, you just get everything, whatever you need. But uh, when case of Un Unreal, the mm, it's it's not that much of resources. I mean, the learning materials available. But they do have a, a better uh, learning materials. And in in case of uh, Unity, I found one recent problem with this is like both this Unity and Unreal actually they are upgrading their engines uh, every almost every month, which is kind of annoying because uh, uh, you know like um, like last month we have like 5.5 and this month is like 5.5.1, 5.5.3, 5.5.6, uh, and next month it'll be like 5.6. And right now I think uh, we have Unity is 5.6.1. But the most of the tutorials which we have on YouTube is actually for Unity 4 and Unity 5, where there is a um, there are few like few major changes that are there in um, uh, Unity, uh, in case of UI elements and you know GUI elements. Um, They've completely taken off this GUI elements and they've replaced it with UI interface elements, uh, which is kind of um, uh, one of the major. Um, I, I personally feel it like it's one of the major uh, changes in the Unity. Uh, but the problem here is um, the tutorials which are done with GUI elements doesn't match with UI elements, and you can't use that anymore. So the problem is like most of the tutorials that we that are available on YouTube are kind of old, and they're not updated. Uh, so th that is one reason why uh, we wanted to make some tutorials on Unity and Unreal as well um, in the upcoming time. So just hopefully, uh, fingers crossed, we will <laughs> do it as soon as possible. So um, we wanted to like, uh, we just thought like uh, the materials are not that updated, uh, learning materials. And um, so that's basically our learning materials. Again, the Unity has a lot more materials than Unreal. And um, coming to the next thing is, uh, the, this is something which I forgot to mention first, uh, which is your... Uh, uh, learning curve which is uh, when we're talking about learning curve is like as a beginner how easy it's going to be for you to learn a new engine uh, by learning a new programming language and, and all so uh, <laughs> again just don't take me impartial towards uh, unity uh, since um, okay I'll just tell you a simple like you know sum up unity has um, a simple system requirement and it has a better programming language called C Sharp, which is uh, which supports C Sharp, which is better than C++. And um, more or less, it can give you uh, almost the similar graphics, you know, visual quality you know, when compared to Unreal. And um, the source materials are more, and the learning materials are more. And again, one of the main reason why the learning curve is also better with Unity is it uses C Sharp. And um, it's much better and easier to learn when you just get a good hand on C sharp. It's completely handy when you when you start using Unity. You'll just understand like, oh, that's really easy. Okay. I never thought it, you know, gaming would be that easy. So it just becomes like that, and you start to have that feeling. So if you're a beginner, you're really you know so much fascinated by this Unreal's output, and you get into and you wanted to go into Unreal. And you do everything and finally you're not able to get the output because of your system requirement or the file size or anything. I would say do not regret it later just rather than starting off with Unity. And also uh, the optimization stuff and all these things are better with Unity. So uh, I think that's pretty much so I think I've caught a, a like I've talked to too much. I know it's a lengthy video. But I just wanted to cover up um, things in detail for people who are uh, looking for, uh, you know, starting to starting the gaming career. So that's it for this session, guys. So I, I just wanted to show you guys what is the difference between Unity and Unreal. You can just stick out some of the uh, things which I mentioned. Uh, like, you know, just go into Unity website and your Unreal website. You can just look into them and see how much of it is true, like what I said. So that's pretty much it. See you guys for now. And if in case you like the video, just uh, like this. And if in case you find it useful, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to Rex. So see you guys with another interesting.